All right, here I'm going to show you how to create leaderboards for the let them jump source code. It's also make them jump or don't let them die. It has four different modes. Normal mode, which is two players, then three players, four players, and then five characters, the inferno mode. So I'm going to click on the inferno mode just to show you how it works. So technically, you need to jump over each of these, okay? It's very hard to play right here on the simulator, but even on a regular phone, it's very hard, but normal mode is a lot easier. So let me give you a little demo as well, okay? So you just jump over the obstacles right there, okay? And uh, as you can see, you can see my best scores right here. Okay, so I want to create leaderboards here. So whenever you click here, I want to be able to see the four leaderboards here, all right? So go to Xcode and look for the global.h file, okay? So in your groups and files, you will find the global h file right here okay and right there if you scroll down you will find four leaderboards ID okay normal nightmare hell and inferno okay so here are the IDs create your own IDs they have to be unique and once you have them just copy each of these and then go to iTunes connect okay and once you're there go to your app settings and click right here on manage game center All right, we're going to create a single game, enable for single game. There you go. Then right now, I'm going to create the one for the normal mode. All right, so Game Center needs to be enabled and add leaderboard. Okay, once you do that, choose single leaderboard. And now put a name. So I'm going to put um, let them all jump and I'm going to write normal mode. Okay. And here is the ID. I'm just going to paste the ID that comes from Xcode. Formatter type would be an integer from best high to low, from zero to a maximum of a bunch of nines. Okay. And the add language. I'm just going to add English for now, but you guys feel free to add any language you want. All right. And the name, I'm going to put top scores. Okay. Normal. Okay. And um, choose formatter. I'm going to put integer. And I'm going to put point here. And the prior will be point with an S. All right, image file, it's optional, and click on save. All right, and then save right here at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a save button. All right, so that's it. We're done with the first leaderboard, and it appears right here. Now let's create another leaderboard. Click on add leaderboard, and we're going to do the same process over and over. And this time, we're going to do it for the other ones in Xcode. So I'm going to select the nightmare one. Okay, so you guys don't have to watch the whole lecture. It's pretty much the same process over and over again. So feel free to stop it now or click continue. Nightmare, paste the ID for the Nightmare 1, the exact same things as the other one, from 0 to a bunch of nines. I'm going to go faster because it's the exact same process. save and two more to go two more leaderboards to go third one Zero to a bunch of nine in English. Top scores here. And save. That's it. I'm going to save this little ball as well. Okay. And the final one, the Inferno mode. I'm going to grab the ID right here, paste it here, integer from 0 to 999. 
So right now, if you saw, I put integer, but it doesn't have to be, okay? It could be, it could be a fixed point to one decimal, okay? So I'm actually going to change them all to one decimal to be more precise, but I could do this anytime, okay? You can go back and change the, yours if you want, no problem, okay? Name, top scores, inferno, okay? Choose formatter, fixed point. English. All right, and save. Now, if you guys want it, you can go back and put to one decimal on each of them. Okay, you don't have to do that. It's up to you. It's for the, the degree of precision is up to you. Okay, but you can always click back and edit this from integer to one decimal. Okay, and save. All right, we're gonna do it for the two others, the nightmare and the hell. Save. And now, hell mode, and that's it. And that's it. All right, and save. All right, so now we have a four leader board. So what we want to do now is click on Done in the bottom, and what you want to do is click on the View Details right here, okay? So click on your current version in View Details, and you want to add the leaderboard to this current version, okay? So click right here on Enable Game Center, okay? Edit the leaderboards, and select All, Save. All right, and there you go. You have the four little boards, and uh, they will work straight in the game. Now, if they don't happen to work, things you have to check are the um, the app bundle ID. Okay, so you have to make sure you have the right app ID right here. Okay, this is this ID right here. Let them jump and so on. So you can copy this ID, go back to Xcode, and right here inside of um, the uh, info, you gotta have this one right here. If you don't the game centers will not work. You cannot test it, okay? Also, make sure you have a test user. So go back to iTunes Connect and create a test user, okay? This is basically the uh, player that will log in to Game Center to, to try the uh, functionality. You get to click right here on Manage User, and you will add a user here, Add Test User, okay? That's it. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, now you can go back to Xcode and run the game again. Okay, and once you do that, you will uh, be able to test the leaderboards. Sometimes it may take up to half an hour or sometimes even the whole day for the um, leaderboards to show. Okay, so don't worry about it if it doesn't work at first. Um, it, it's normal, it, it takes a little while. I'm actually going to give it a shot right now, but uh, it's okay if it doesn't work because sometimes it just doesn't happen right away. Okay, so as a matter of fact, it won't work right now because I'm not logged in. Um, I'm going to click on leaderboard and see. See, player is not signed in, so uh, that's because I disabled it for that game. So what I'm going to do is just remove it for now and reinstall it, okay? So that might happen for you too if you already removed it before, okay? Delete. All right, and I'm going to replay it again. So technically, it's reinstalling the game fresh on the uh, simulator. All right, so I'm going to click on uh, leaderboard. Okay, well, I'll have to reset the simulator, so let me do that now. Okay, so how do you do that? Go to iOS simulator on top in the menu, I don't know if you see it, reset content and settings. All right, and click on reset. All right, so now it's basically um, resetting the simulator. And now I can go back here and click on play one more time. And now that should bring up the uh, game center.
All right, there we go. So here you have to log in with a test user. Okay, I happen to have a bunch of them. I'm going to use this one. Okay, and I'm not going to show you the password, so I'm going to put this down. Okay. All right, I am now signed in. Okay, so um, I can just play in normal mode. There you go. All right, and I have a score of 3.9. So if I click on leaderboards, we should be able to see our leaderboards. Okay, so as you can see right now, we don't see them. So there's only one right now. But um, as time goes by, you will be able to see all the leaderboards. Okay, oh, here they are. Okay, the normal, nightmare, hell, and inferno. Perfect. They all got taken. So that means that our connection to, um, to iTunes Connect has worked. Okay, and that's all you need to know to be able to connect your leaderboards to your app. Thank you for